Hey you guys, what's going on? It's Teenage Night, and I'm here for episode 10 of my NFL Tour 2016 playoffs. If you have not seen the other videos, please go watch them. I know you're kind of seeing a spoiler here, but hopefully everyone who has not seen them has now left. Here is the updated bracket. The only game we have left to play before the Super Bowl, before the Super Bowl, I cannot talk, is the NFC Championship game. But who will we be controlling in the NFC Championship? Will it be the Green Bay Packers or the Minnesota Vikings? We have yet to control the Packers, and we've controlled the Vikings both times. And we get to be the Minnesota Vikings. So, what? So I mean, it should be fun, but let's go ahead and jump into this game. Remember, we have not beat the Packers yet, so that's my goal for this video. Who will represent the NFC in Super Bowl 50? That is pretty much what we're here to answer. But let's see uh, who gets the ball first. I think we will because uh, the Vikings are the home team in this situation. Because they're the third seed and the Packers are the fifth. So uh, let's let's see how this goes. Can I, I'm about to say, can I call halfback return? All right, Adrian Peterson, here we go. Back to return inside the five-yard line. AP up the middle and get off me. I love using Adrian Peterson. He's so overpowered in this game. And I already know what our first play is going to be. Already know. And most of you guys probably know it too. Slam with Adrian Peterson. Right up the middle. Or I guess to the outside. And we're still breaking tackle. AP still going AD. I keep calling him AP. But I want to say he prefers AD. But it doesn't really matter. And I've done that like every video. Uh, Actually, I have an idea here. Let's try something that I've tried with slow quarterbacks. But I've yet to try with um, Tavares Jackson. The prototype. Which is a designed quarterback run play. How with Big Ben did I break off like a 40 yard run. And was able to pitch it back to Willie Parker for a touchdown, but with Tavares Jackson, I can't. All right, halfback dive with Adrian Peterson, up the middle. Or I cut it to the outside because that looked better, but anyway, got the first down anyway. I mean, we may have to drive against this team. I have yet to, my, I still can't believe I did not beat these guys with the Panthers. I mean, I had that game like pretty much locked up and I blew it in like the last 30 seconds. And then that's almost a pick. That wouldn't have been good. Okay, run, slam. See what AP can do, or AD, whatever. Whatever you want to call him. And, all right, still going. No, nope, come on, get off me. All right, that's that's about a gain of nine, I would say. Yeah, third and one. I think now we could probably give it to Tavares and be fine. I think, I think that's what we're going to do. I'm not going to probably pass a whole lot in this game. No real need to. Let's run the prototype again. Because if I can manage to break this plate out... Yeah, like that. Then I'm pretty sure Tavares can break some tackles. Tavares Jackson into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. And they're off to an early 6-0 lead here in the conference championship game. Nah, we're not going to go for two. We're going we're gonna to play it safe, go for one. Give it to the best halfback in the NFL. And just watch him score. And he's in. 7-0. Now the ball goes to Brett Favre and the Packers. We'll see how well this turns out for us. Back to return is Charles Woodson. And he's going to get to about the 20 and try to juke out one of my guys. Break a tackle and then get leveled. But he's still got to, what, the 30-yard line about? It seems like no matter what you do, like 90% of the time, they're going to get to the 30-yard line. Okay, so I'm going to blitz with Greenway and they're going to run the ball to open the day. Oh, that's right. I said I'd look up who number 32 was. I actually forgot, but whatever. I forgot that I was going to look that up, but um, it's fine. I'll try and storm blitz again. Why? They? All right, so the Packers probably run the most wildcat out of any team here that we've played as or, like, played against. Please, come on. Took four huge, like, linebackers and linemen to bring him down. That man is just too much. I don't even know, his, I don't even know who he is. I know they're trying to run with Brett Favre, and that's not going to work. Fourth down. Come on, let's start this game off like this. Let's start this game off with a turnover on downs, come out and score, and open up with a 14-0 lead. What if both conference championships ended in blowouts? Here we go. Handoff. And, yeah, easy. All right, he's tackled back at the 30. So now Tavares Jackson will come back out, and uh, I'm going to call go long, and we're going to see what we can get here. 
And going downfield, and it is incomplete. Okay, Charles Woodson on the coverage. Second and ten. Alright, let's go ahead and pitch back to Adrian Peterson. Peterson to the outside, breaking tackles. No, nope, get off me. Got the first down. Still breaking tackles. Dang. Alright, down to the five. I don't know why I'm still surprised that Adrian breaks tackles like this in the game. Alright, first and goal. And yeah, you can probably guess what we're going to do. Hand off to Adrian Peterson up the middle. Pushes off one man into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. 13-0. Guys, this game might get bad too. But I don't know. Their offense tends to play really well like in the second half. So we'll have to see. But 14-0 Vikings over the Packers right now. Could be a Vikings Chiefs Super Bowl. All right, Tavares throws it deep. Back to return is Charles Woodson once again. And all right, I got thrown. But Woodson gets laid out. Imagine how he fumbled there and we got the ball again. That would have been that would have been funny. Would have been a very entertaining game probably <laughs> unless you like blowouts, but uh no, come on. No, get him. No, come on. How come every time their first completed pass results in a touchdown? Every time. Every single time their first completed pass against me seems to result in a touchdown. Or their first touchdown is always a huge pass. Because I've played them now three times, and every time they got a huge CD pass against me. And right there he gets leveled. Come on, fumble it. Whatever, 14-6. Still got an eight-point lead. What's the most I've scored in half here? What is the most I've scored in one half? In this like mini series. Because I feel like it's probably somewhere around 21. Uh, we're still going. Alright, down to 30. 25 seconds to go. And we have a chance to score 21 points in one half. Jackson handoff to Peterson to the outside. And Adrian Peterson. Stiff arms that guy. He's still going. And finally brought down near the 20. Okay. Had to slam up against the wall to get him down, but they finally did get him down. All right, let's go long. Jackson under center. And to the end zone, Troy Williamson. And he dropped it. Of course he did, because it's Troy Williamson. Second and ten. Half one. I don't know why I said half one, but it is still second and ten. Let's go ahead and hand off to Adrian. Adrian, come on, throw him off, throw him off. Okay, third and four. See, this is where it gets kind of iffy. Because I have the best running back in the game. So I could just try to run like this on uh, what's going to be this fourth down. And try to get into the end zone with five seconds to go. Or I could throw and risk it. Honestly, I think the best thing... Uh, Alright, yeah. I think the best thing is just give it to Adrian and let him work. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. First down. And one second to go. How far are we from the end zone? Well, I want Adrian out there too. I want three receivers. So we find somebody. Nope. Jackson. Come on, Jackson. Come on, Jackson. No, don't get turned around. See, he hit the wall and then turned around like an idiot. Had he not hit the wall and then turned around, he would have walked in. But nope, just 14 to 6. That's like the third time I've gotten close to the end zone at the end of a half and haven't gotten in. Come on, just tackle him, please. No. Stop. No one's trying to kick against us yet. You're not about to. Alright. They're at the like midfield, which is the 40-yard line. Far of under center. Yep, you're not handing it off here. Get leveled. Nope, he stayed up. No. Nope, get him. Please just bring him down. Dear God. We hit him hard in the backfield. And he still maintained his balance and was able to get a first down. That's how ridiculous this guy is. Uh, there's a fumble. And we're like body slamming Brett Favre. No, come on. Get him again. But say, if like he recovers his fumble, breaks a couple tackles, and then gets a first, I'm going to be so mad. Let's see if they keep trying to run the ball with Brett Favre here. After that little issue. No, god dang it. Why does this game do this to me? It switches me like at the last second. Who I don't want to be. And then it results in a touchdown. No, you're going down that time. Thank god, okay. 
14 to 12. We still have our lead. And we have a chance to add to it. Go ahead. Throw it back to Adrian. All right, Adrian. Listen. You need to get, like, a really, really good return here. Okay. To the 25, I guess that's, you know, really good. Um, what do I want to run? Let's try the prototype again. That seems to be working out pretty well. Come on. Antivaras gets drilled. Hold on to the ball, please. Okay. So, that would have been about a two-yard game, but they shoved him forward into the four, so... I guess that works. Uh, let's let's run an option play. See how that works out. I mean, I've got a first. I tried to maintain my balance so I could pitch it back, but... Um, let's run a pitch to Adrian. Dude, that first linebacker, like, never is able to bring him down. Unless he levels him like that. I don't know how many times that linebacker has tried to get him, though. Like, not just on this team, either. Like, that position... Like, has tried several times. Oh, boy. No, let me audible. Let me audible. Ha! They're, the guy that would... Like, okay. So the CPU technically kind of controls a guy, I guess. That has to, like, hit you whenever they use that. And uh, I didn't let him hit me, pretty much. I consider just taking the snap and then immediately giving it to Adrian and then just falling on the ground. But Adrian Peterson to the house after breaking three tackles. Touchdown, Minnesota. And they take an eight-point lead. And we're just going to go for one to try to make it a nine-point lead. Hand off to Adrian. Breaks through a tackle. Adrian Peterson into the end zone. Okay, we're up by nine. 106 to go in the game. It's about how you wanted that drive to go there. 106 to go. We got a score. I think we're doing fine right now. And come on, level him. There we go leveled him back at the 20 yard line first and 10 let's go ahead and blitz Darren Sharper yeah Sharper says you're going down you gonna be able to do anything against us right now Brett they're gonna need to score they need to score on this drive or else that's really gonna hurt their chances of going back to this or going to the Super Bowl Third and three. I said back to the Super Bowl. Well, I guess Aaron Rodgers has been to the Super Bowl. So, technically the Packers... You, you guys know what I mean. Kind of. Probably not really. And brought down. Fourth and three. 52 seconds to go in the game. We're going to run the same play. I've been calling this the entire drive, and it's working. Oh, we got him again! And that's a turnover on downs. And pretty much if we score here, that's, that's going to be game. Or nearly. Not guaranteeing it would be. But Adrian still fighting. Adrian Pearson into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. 27-12. to 12. And uh, let's go ahead and just slam. And use Adrian. Truck through some people. And Adrian Peterson into the end zone. Touchdown, Vikings. I must have touchdown sooner. <laughs> but he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. 29 to 12. It is a 17 point game with 42 seconds to go. I mean, this is a close game just a couple of minutes ago. It's amazing what one turnover on downs can do. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Are they are they giving up? Are they just gonna start running the ball? And gets thrown back. He gained one. I mean. I guess that's about as best you can hope for whenever Darren Sharper hits you immediately. And gets to the outside, and he gets leveled. Back of the 25. He gained two. They're slowly gaining some yards. No, come on, get him. Okay. First down. Alright, 29-12 with... 27 seconds to go in the game. I think it's pretty obvious, guys, who is going to be in the Super Bowl. Which, honestly, I wouldn't even be angry of in real life. And here we go, here we go, here we go. No, come on, get him. No, get him. There we go, tripped him up. Had we not tripped him up there, he would have been gone. Actually, man, I have barely, like, hit those quick time events where it's, like, one you to... Uh, press square whenever you're the defender. I've barely hit any of those. 
that's I think that's why he's broken off so many big runs is because he breaks tackles pretty well. Like it's a good thing I haven't had to go against Adrian Peterson yet. But that guy breaks tackles so well that if you if you don't use that if you're not good at that quick time with the square, then he's probably gonna kill you most of the game. But it looks like I'm finally gonna beat the Packers in the NFC Championship here. And yeah, why don't we just let up one more score? No, come on. Ah, I tried to get him. Touchdown, Green Bay. 29-18. They would need the ball back, score, and then need the ball back again. So it, it's over anyway, but it was a nice try, Green Bay. 29-19, eight seconds to go in the game. Well, you guys, it looks like Tavares Jackson has led the Minnesota Vikings to a Super Bowl. And from inside the five, Peterson's going to bring it out. And still going. All right. Three seconds to go in the game. It's pretty much over here. And run it with slam right up the middle. If Adrian could break one more, that'd be amazing. Oh, my God. Come on, AD. You can do it. You can do it, Adrian. I believe. Touchdown, Vikings. 35-19. And the Vikings are headed to the Super Bowl. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the series up to this point. I literally didn't throw the ball at all. Or I did, but it was always incomplete. We had 243 rushing yards and zero passing yards. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed the series up to this point. Uh, the next game is the Super Bowl between the Vikings and the Chiefs. So I will talk to you guys then.